Hey everybody, welcome to a special edition of Dave TV. Uh, my daily, or almost daily, uh, little video blog here from DCRTV.com, which covers the DC media scene in conjunction with Pressbox, PressboxDC.com. And I uh, got some big news today, um, really big news. Um, <clears throat> ESPN 980, one of the two major sports talkers here in the Washington market, has announced a major schedule change. The whole lineup's different, different. Um, so what do we got? Well, um, the new schedule, which goes into effect on the 2nd of May, which is a Monday. Okay, so it's still a couple weeks away. We've got 5 a.m. to 7 a.m., the morning blitz with station veteran Al Galdi. And that'll be like a look at all the news, the sports news headlines and stuff like that. Now, a whole new morning show now for ESPN 980 WTEM, which, of course, is owned by Redskins owner Dan Snyder's Red Zebra broadcasting arm. 7 a.m. to 11 11 a.m., Kevin Sheehan and Chris Cooley. It'll be called the Cooley and Kevin Show. So they're taking Chris Cooley and moving him to mornings, okay? So that's the new morning drive show. Uh, Chris Cooley, Kevin Sheehan. Um, a lot of people that I've talked to say they like that. They think that sounds like a good mix for the mornings. You know, Chris Cooley had been paired with Steve Saban in afternoons. Now he's going to be moving to mornings on the station. That's going to replace the Mike and Mike show, which comes piped in from, where is that, Bristol, Connecticut, or New York, or wherever they do it from, on ESPN Radio. So that will no longer be on uh, ESPN 980. And I don't think too many people are going to care because that show doesn't get the greatest ratings um, ESPN 980, WTEM has been struggling, especially with its morning drive. Last year they uh, started that Man Cave show, which was kind of like an Af African-American morning type show. And I don't know, the ratings of that never took off. It, it, it was an odd show. A lot of people didn't like it. Some people did, but then they, you know, that went through the summer, and then they pulled the plug on that and went back to Mike and Mike. So now this is a whole nother chance of... Uh, ESPN 980 trying to uh, get the mornings. Yeah, right now the junkies over there on CBS's rival 106.7 The Fan, they're the ones that get the dominant ratings in the morning with the sports talk crowd, okay? So it looks like ESPN 980 is going to try to make some changes. So, okay, so we've got uh, Kevin Sheehan and Chris Cooley, 7 to 11 a.m. starting May 2nd. What happens to Tony Kornheiser? Tony's very popular show. He gets great ratings late mornings there on WTEM. Well, he's got, his show's now going to air from 11 a.m. to 1 1 p.m. So that's an hour later. He's currently on 10 a.m. to noon. That's not going to matter to Tony because he tapes his show in the morning, like 8 o'clock in the morning anyhow. So he'll be still doing his show just like he always does. But it's going to be airing an hour later, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Then inside the locker room with Doc Walker, Brian Mitchell, and Scott Jackson takes the 1 to 4 o'clock in the afternoon slot. Okay? And again, everybody, you know, they're pretty much on the station in afternoons now. It's just a, you know, a kind of a mix there. Tom Lavaro, who, uh, you know, why does he write for the Washington Times? He's a, he's a really great guy. High voice, though! Real high voice. Hi, I'm Tom Lavaro. Tom's not in the mix anymore. I don't know what's up with that. We'll have to wait and see. But so anyway, uh, inside the locker room, uh, that's the mid-afternoon show. And then the afternoon drive show, the sports reporters, Steve Saban stays, but now he's mixed up with they're paired up with Andy Poland. And a lot of people seem to like that. They say that's going to be a good combination, remains to be seen. Two professionals, you know, whatever, looking at the, the daily sports for the day and with guests and whatever. So that's the new afternoon drive show. So basically, the big news here is that Chris Cooley moves to mornings. Okay. And then we have uh, 7 o'clock in the evening till 10 o'clock, DMV game time, you know, District, Virginia, Maryland, or whatever order, with Tim Murray and Nick Azu. A. Azu. Azu. A S H O O H. Azu. I'm going to say it. Okay. So, anyway, that's the new lineup ESPN 980 that was announced today. DCRTV broke the news early this morning, by the way, and we were right, thank goodness. Uh, but that's the new lineup for ESPN 980 come May the 2nd. Personally, I think it's a good move. 
Um, is it going to dent the, you know, the lead that uh, 106.7 The Fan has? I don't know. Um, I don't think so. But, uh, you know, at least it's 17 hours of live and local sports stuff on a radio station. Okay, and the ratings for ESPN 980 haven't been that great lately. So, and then the problem with ESPN, as we all know, is signal, signal, signal. It's still relying primarily on an AM signal, and who listens to AM anymore, right? They do have some FM signals, but, you know, they're not, like, powerful. <laughs> so anyway, that's the brand new ESPN 980 lineup, and this is Dave TV in conjunction with Pressbox DC on the, what is today, the 8th of April, 2016. Book them, Dano.